Begin the treatment by first sounding the length of the uterus and subtracting the cervical canal length. Set array length by pressing the purple toggle switch and sliding the back handle to the correct cavity length. Dilate the cervical canal to 8 millimeters. Assistant connects desiccant and plugs handpiece into controller. An automatic system test begins, which takes approximately 7 seconds and must be performed with the Minerva handpiece external to the patient. Assistant should press and hold the green button on the controller to minimize the insertion profile of the array and continue to hold the green button during insertion of the array. Insert the array through the cervical canal. Maintain slight traction on the teneculum to minimize the angle of the uterus. Angle the Minerva handpiece in line with the axis of the uterus. Advance it until the distal tip touches the fundus. If Minerva handpiece is difficult to insert into the cervical canal, use clinical judgment to determine whether or not further dilation is required. Once the device touches the fundus, the physician instructs assistant to release the green button on the controller. Follow the three steps that are flashing on the screen of the controller. Open array by slowly squeezing the handles together, while gently moving handpiece approximately one half centimeters to and from the fundus until the handle locks. Confirm array opening indicator line is in the green zone. If array opening indicator line is in the red zone, do not proceed with treatment. Consult the operator's manual for troubleshooting tips. To complete placement, slightly pull back the Minerva ES handpiece and then gently advance the handpiece ensuring the array is against the fundus. In addition, please maintain slight traction on the teneculum to ensure the array is against fundus. Inflate the cervical sealing balloon until syringe locks. When the cervical canal is sealed, the CO2 slider on the controller will move into the green zone. If the CO2 slider is in the red zone, the cervical canal may not be sealed or a uterine perforation may be present rule out uterine perforation. If a leak at the cervix is confirmed, add another three cc's of air to seal the cervix and or use another teneculum to grasp and tighten the cervix around the sheath. If CO2 slider remains in the red zone, procedure should be aborted. After confirming CO2 slider is in the green zone, tap the foot switch to initiate the two-stage uterine integrity test. Please remain steady during uterine integrity test and maintain correct placement of array against fundus. Upon successful passing of the uterine integrity test, the ablation starts automatically. There will be a few seconds delay between successful completion of the uterine integrity test and the ablation starting. Do not step on the foot switch again during this delay. Just wait until the ablation starts automatically. Every patient receives a 120-second treatment. The ablation is now complete. Deflate the cervical sealing balloon by pulling back the syringe plunger. Unlock the handle to collapse the array. Remove the array from the patient. Minerva ES is the latest advancement in endometrial ablation technology.